I'm Heather, and this is my partner Kyle. We live on Canada's west coast with our 9 to 5 jobs, crazy cat named Schmidt, and some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. I started this vlog a few years ago as a creative outlet and a way to capture memories from our travels. We had big travel plans for 2020, but just like most people, the global pandemic completely turned our world upside down. Instead, we've decided to explore our own backyard and take in all British Columbia has to offer. Some days, we daydream about packing it all up and traveling full time, but for now, we will continue to share our adventures in the Amateur Travel Hour. If you're thinking this is a weird place to start a video in my living room, when it's supposed to be about our road trip down the coast of the island to Parksville, you would be absolutely correct. This is what happens when you don't check back your footage, don't have a front-facing camera, and are hangry and want to go to dinner. So lesson learned, always watch back your footage because when I went to go add it to the vlog, this is what it looked like. Welcome to Courtney, BC. And I figured no one wants to watch the top of our heads cut off. We pick you up after the end of our Sayward Canoe Route trip. We checked into a Super 8 in Courtney. We went and we had dinner and we pick you up the next morning as we head out on our quest for breakfast. So we have come to Mud Shark's Coffee Bar and Kyle got a, what is this called? Muddy breakfast bowl. Muddy breakfast bowl. Mm -hmm. I am what I am. You pleased with that joke? just been driving down the island highway that's highway 19a we're heading to Qualicum Beach and then on to Parksville which is where we're gonna stay tonight we have been saying that we never get a chance to just kind of pull off and explore little places because we're always in a rush to get somewhere or we just don't have the energy to do it and today we really have no plan we have no time we need to be anywhere we're just kind of relaxing so we're literally pulling off at every little place along the coast which is so nice and so we are in this I don't even know if it's a town but village of Deep Bay which is on the map kind of like halfway down towards Parksville from Courtney which is where we were this morning it's been a beautiful drive so far it was supposed to be um, the storm of the year or like the first storm of the fall um, with really high winds but we haven't really experienced it yet so it's actually been a really nice drive almost bright enough for sunglasses you know but it's definitely fall it's cold and a little bit windy I guess on to the next place I don't know where we're gonna end up next but it'll be exciting so yeah check out Deep Bay Excellent, and Kyle has gotten a chicken club. 
Yeah, we're excited to eat lunch. Although this is like bigger than most dinners I eat. So, <laughs> you know, here we go. arrived at our hotel in Parksville after our lovely drive down the coast and now we are gonna go adventure and explore and see what's all around. Let's go! Come to Mount Aerosmith Brewing Company and we are sitting on the patio except I'm recording this audio in my car because it was too loud to record any audio on the patio. So we have some beer and we've decided to get pizza for dinner. We got the friendly neighbor pizza and it was excellent. We have come to Paradise Mini Golf to battle it out in our ongoing quest for Mini Golf Champion of the World. talk about it I think we should talk about it I definitely just beat Heather in mini golf she doesn't want to talk about it but now it's on film so it's here forever I won she lost who's winning in the grand scheme of mini golf champion I think it's me I think it's me she's mistaken <laughs> it's definitely me <laughs> So we've come down to Rath Trevor Provincial Park after the storm. It's a beautiful rainbow. Look at the light. Nature. It's pretty cool. So we picked up these desserts just from the local grocery store. We have a cheesecake, an Nanaimo bar, and an eclair. And you might be thinking, wow, you guys are weirdos. You're eating your desserts in the dark. Well, we were about to enjoy them, and then the power went out. So <laughs> now we are sitting in the dark, and we are going to go eat our desserts. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I feel so much pressure eating this right now. That's such a big bite. Grody. <laughs> no pressure, please. Maybe it's best we do eat this in the dark. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. You last saw us stuffing our face with dessert. It was lovely. In the dark. In the dark. 
<laughs> the power did come back on about half an hour later, right as we were going to bed. And uh, it all seems good this morning. We have this nice little break in the clouds. As you can tell, it's very sunny. It's just lovely. Uh, the tide is out at the beach. And so we're gonna go for a little walk and explore and just kind of take in the sunshine while we can. It's a good start to fall. Woo! <laughs> The beach has been lovely, but the rain is a coming. So we're gonna make one more stop before we go to the ferry. Let's go. All right, we are at our final stop of our little trip down the coast here, and we have come to Morningstar Farms, specifically to come to Little Qualcomm Cheese Works, because cheese is my all-time favorite food group. Yes, that's right, you heard me, food group. So let's go see what they have. Got our cheese. I got, of course, uh, some brie because brie is my all-time fave. And then we got some old smoky because Kyle is an old smoky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny. And then, of course, we got tipsy Jill because who doesn't want wine-infused cheese? I do, absolutely. And so ends our little adventure. Well, not little. I mean, we did go on a canoe trip, so that's gonna be linked somewhere here you know in this general vicinity so you can go watch our sayward canoe route trip which brought us to the island in the first place and then this little one and a half day road trip down down the coast just to check out a couple different places and now we head back to the mainland if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and comment and all that lovely stuff and smash the thumbs up and we'll see you next time 2020 has been a tough year for everyone Plans changed, trips were canceled, there was a lot of disappointment. But if we've learned anything through this experience, it's that you create your own happy. Without the pandemic, I never would have run a half marathon. Kyle probably would not have agreed to go on a canoe trip, and we likely wouldn't have made it to Naramata this summer. We were pushed to explore new places and get outside in our own backyard. Our BC adventure made us grateful. We were able to experience the wonder and awe of our own province and truly appreciate the beauty all around us. Thanks for coming along on our BC summer series and check out all the videos to make sure you're caught up. Stay tuned to find out where we're going next.